Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We're almost at the end of the game, but there's just a few more things I want to take care of before we do that, so... Also, I felt a vibration, which means that there's a secret behind these crates here. Which I'm pretty sure is a fairy fountain, if I can do the right thing. Which is probably the Song of Storms. I knew- I remember there being something here, I just- I just forgot where it was. It's behind those crates there. Yep, fairy fountain. Cool. So that's there. But also... If we go over here... This is something else we can do. Grudo Training Ground. Only registered members are allowed. So we can do this as soon as we've done the Grudo Fortress the first time. So let's talk to you. This is where the Grudo's Training Ground is. This is the Grudo's Training Ground. Membership card verified. One try for 10 rupees. Okay. Alright, I'll take your 10 rupees. Give it your best shot. 10 rupees is a bit of a steal going into this. That's just crazy to me. All it, it just 10 rupees, that's all it is. Anyway, let's go absolutely crazy in here. And also play the Song of Storms again. Because just so many of these places need the Song of Storms for some reason. Or the Sun Song. But there's a forest or fairy spirit thing here that you can get. So, but anyway, let's also hit this ice switch up here. There's a lot to do in this Grudo's training ground, so... I'm gonna try my best to get everything. Even the stuff that I don't need. But anyway, one of arrows. And... A blue rupee. Now, let's... We have a few directions we can take. Left or right are the main ones that we need to take, though, so... I recommend going left first. Defeat all the enemies in a limited time. We have one minute to take out Stalfos. Which is not too bad. But this is just one of the first... This is just one of the trials. Each trial you do has... A uh, uh, key in it for you to get, so from this chest here, let's go get that and get, of course, a small key. So we need to get as many keys as we can to get good rewards later on. And now we have a minute and a half to get, well, to gather the jewels of white while avoiding traps of da and danger. So we need to go fast. Which is good, because I was already planning on going fast. Okay, good. Grab that. Go up here. I really should have been more than 10 rupees to get in here, if I'm getting these rupees right now. Very nice. There's also walls of fire that would just appear out of nowhere, that we need to be careful of. Also, what? Wallmaster. I don't remember that being here. That's okay. I'm going to avoid all the boulders. I think I need to go over to the other side now. Which is fairly similar to the other side. Why are there wall masters here? This is upsetting me. I think I actually have experienced the wall master before and it was very upsetting that time. Possibly. I have plenty of time right now. What is happening? Okay. Grabbing all the silver rupees also should stop the timer. Which is good. Now, let's go through the fire and the flame, just like that, because if you hookshot through something, you can't take damage. Also, this room doesn't have a small key in it, which is interesting, but it does allow us to go forward, where there will be some small keys. Without the necessary items, one will be confront uh, confounded by impossible mysteries. So basically, you have to have a lot of the important items that you get throughout the game to better do everything in here. But anyway... Take out all these wolfos, which I guess we don't have to take out, but, you know. There we go. Oh, there's actually a chest there. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot that there was that there. One with silver hands shall move a giant block. Okay, I can do that. Uh, but also I'm going to open this up, please. Bundle of arrows. Interesting. I don't think I'm going to need the Ocarina of Time 
much in here. That's a fake door. Uh, but I can move this block out of the way so I can get in here. Please. 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 Moving these giant blocks is my favorite thing. Okay, there we go. That's locked though, so we can't go through there. But luckily for us, where that door was that we destroyed, there's actually a door up above it if we go through the secret hole in the wall that's invisible. And there's also a switch up here, which opens up the other door. So let's go do that first. Okay. There's also like likes in here. Just many like likes. Please let me hit you. Thank you. There we go. Take those out. We can open up this chest as well. But I believe for. Oh my goodness. Ice trap. I believe for taking out the. Uh, like likes though, some chests appear. In all the places that there were like likes, actually, so. Even the ones where they're invisible. So we can still open those, so. Small key, very nice. Only one's invisible. I thought there was two invisible. Anyway. Blue rupee. Of course, the one that was invisible has the small key, though. Oh my goodness, huge rupee. Not that we need it. But it's there, so they really should have paid. They really should have been more expensive than just what's it called, ten rupees. But anyway, let's go through here now. And something that's very important to do, probably, is go over here. And I said I wouldn't need the Ocarina of Time, but I do actually need it because if we go over here, we need to actually play the Scarecrow song so that we can get back up here if we need to, which we do. So. There we go. Let's head down. Gonna need arrows. Because we need uh, to blind the eyes of the statue. Exactly what it's saying. So there's one. Oh, please. Two. Three. And if I can hit this last one, maybe. Oh, please. Four. And that opens up the door up there. So we need to have set the position there. I almost fell into the void. That's actually probably not a terrible thing, though. Probably. Small key from that chest there. I've fallen there. Doesn't that put me back up? It does, but that's. Is the door still open? That's interesting. So I guess you don't need Pierre there, but it's. Probably better to have Pierre there than not. Anyway, let's go through here, and there's a chest here, which we can see another chest over there from here. This one has another small key. Have quite a few of those now. We need to keep in mind that there's a chest behind that wall there. Let's head down now. And go through this door. Okay, enemies. Find a secret passage in this room. Okay. I can do that. You really need so many of the weapons and items that you collect throughout the entire game. Can I please hit you? Thank you. There we go. It's all the enemies out of the way. But now, we also have the statues in this room. So there's quite a few things we can do. Although I don't think we need to do most of the statues, we just need to hit a few. Like this one, which has the uh, switch underneath it to open the door. Actually no, that just got rid of the fire. No, it did open the door. The doors are open already. Uh, but there's also an eye switch above this one. So let's hit that. And that... Opens that door. Okay, I'm just crazy. Cool. Because uh, I guess the game wants you to go the other way into this room. But why would you when you can go this way? Anyway, let's grab that small key. 
and grab this. Bundle of arrows. The game is just stocking us up. Also, I'm pretty sure you could probably just roll into that and get that chest open. If you don't hit the switch. But, just hit the switch. It's a lot easier. Cross the sea of fire. I can do that. Just need... Hover boots and... My... What's it called? Long shot. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was close. If you fall in the lava, you reset the room basically, so... Anyway, we need to get all the silver rupees in here. So let's do that. Good, 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 good. We can also play the Song of Time here. I don't know how the Gurus managed to incorporate the Song of Time blocks into their puzzles, but anyway. So let's get onto those. And go up this way. Which we can see a small key up here that we can just grab, I'm pretty sure. Just like that. That makes six. And let's fall down here. Because over here is a switch that we can hit. And that gets rid of the fire around one of the silver rupees. We need to get there pretty quickly if we can. So I can grab that. Okay, good. That opens that door over there for getting all the rupees. Let's go check that out now. I have no idea how I'm not falling into the lava right now. Oh, I have no idea how I'm not falling in the lava right now. I have to repeat myself, apparently. Anyway, now that we're in here. Collect the underwater gems. Also, I'm going to get rid of the hover boots right now. And once again, we have to use the amount of time to play the song of time. Opens up all of that. So much stuff on the screen, it's fine. And now we also need to use the Iron Boots. And probably the Zora Tunic would be good as well. Zora Tunic and the... Silver Gauntlets and Iron Boots and Mirror Shield looks really good together. Wow. Anyway, I have a few enemies in here to take out as well. Since, of course we would. I don't know how that worked just then. Um, hello. Just gonna dodge you for a second. I don't think I... Oh, please. Thank you. Cool. So now we need to get the silver rupees in here, which is can be a little bit difficult because there's a... Like a whirlpool thing spinning us around the room. If we aren't using our iron boots, we need to be careful. Hello, I didn't see you. Where were you? Okay, so let's... Take off the iron boots. Grab that. There's also one up here that I can get if I go around the whole room again. Grab that. And now, if I iron boots to go back down and grab almost. I was so close. I can grab this one, which I think is the last one. Yep, and a treasure chest is spawning at the top, so we can get out of here. There we go. We can also return to regular tunic. And there we go. All that for another small key. So many. Where's the exit? I'm crazy. How did I mess that up? There's only one door. Okay. Hover boots again, just to make it slightly easy to get through here. Although you can also just hook shot, long shot. That's rude. You can long shot to the other torch if you need to as well. Please don't do it again. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Now let's go through up here and fight some enemies. Which we have actually got some Lizalfos in here. Which look different to the Lizalfos we fought before. Defeat all the enemies in a limited time because this, just look at it. It's a Dynalfos. That's why it's different. 
It's, it's basically the same there. Use your shield while in a fight with C targeting techniques. Of course there's two as well. Can I please hit you? Thank you. I'm also gonna get rid of this thing if I can. There we go. I think that's everything in here. There's another chest. We've looped at this point, so... Small key. Very nice. Now, I think I have everything I need. I don't know if uh, there's many... I don't, I don't know what's optional at this point. If you can overcome the trials in the chambers ahead, then and only then will you be qualified to hold our secret treasure. Um, I've already done everything. I don't know how to... Yeah, it's fine. Anyway. Just gonna get this fairy thing again. To heal up. I was only being a little bit reckless, but still. Also, that didn't completely heal me. I thought that would have completely healed me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway. If you desire to acquire a hidden treasure, you must strive to obtain the keys hidden in each chamber. Okay. So basically we have to have enough keys to get through this maze type thing, I guess. But anyway, we can also climb through the ceiling here. Not, not joking. To get to this treasure chest that we saw before from the other room. Which has another small key for us, so it'd be good to not miss that one. Okay. So I pump this treasure chest here. And get purple rupee worth 50. That's pretty good. There are so many keys in this place. And so many locked doors. Okay. Another treasure over here. It really should be a lot more than fit just 10 rupees to get in here. Although I guess you probably can't collect things more than once. Red rupee worth 20. Not that you ever really need to get these rupees anyway. We've already got everything we need rupees for, so... But anyway... This one is... Bundle of Arrows. Okay, and the big chest in the middle. Which is what you probably want to aim for the most. Is the Ice Arrow. Set it to see and your arrows will be powered up. If you hit your target, it will freeze. This arrow magic is granted only to those who complete the difficult training of the Gerudos. So use it with pride. This is an interesting item to get at this point in the game. It's probably good for combat, not that you'd use it for much combat, since to get this you basically have to complete every dungeon anyway. So it's, its usefulness is very limited by where you can get it in the the this at this point. So it's all right though. There's there's a few there's quite a few things that you get which aren't that helpful to you as well. So, but it could be helpful for fighting some enemies. If you need to. Ah, uh, but anyway now, I'm gonna see if I have enough keys for the other side of this place. Which I don't know if there's anything else. It might just be those two. Here it is, it's just those two. So I got all the keys. Good. I'm glad I did. Okay. Let's open this up. Bundle of arrows. And the last tray chest in here. This also connects if we go through this passage over here to the room with the lava that I fell into a couple of times. This is where we got the key. So. But anyway, let's open up this. And get some bomb shoes. So there we go. That's everything in here. Let's go. Out again. 
And now there's still just a few more things I want to take care of before we go to the end of the game. Okay, so the first thing I want to take care of is at the Gruda Canyon. And that is, if we jump down here, there's another one of these blue rocks just on this ledge that you can see. This is also a spot that you can actually just um, long shot over to the crate over there if you want to get the piece of heart there now. Uh, but if we go into this grotto here, there's actually some rupees that we can get here, not that we really need them. Also, the mirror shield can't reflect uh, the popcorn rocks. But anyway, there's that. So another thing we can do is actually go into the carpenter's tent out uh, the Gerudi Valley, see all the carpenters here. Without the old witches, the gang of thieves isn't all that scary. You did so great, young man. Like I suspected, Naboru was brainwashed by Ganondorf's followers. How do you know all these things? Oh, it was Ganondorf, the evil king who was behind the gang of thieves. Okay, uh, anyway, there's also this guy over here who should look familiar to us because this is the running man who we gave the bunny hood to. I'm the wandering running man. I've run all over this land in search of true competitive spirit. I beat all my challenges, man and beast. You're an athletic guy and you look like you might have a true killer instinct too. Now that the bridge over Guru Valley is complete, I'm looking for a challenger to have a competitive, com commemorative r race against. The best time to go from here to the bridge in the Lost Woods was 2 minutes 38 seconds. That's my record. Will you challenge my record? Yes, I will. Excellent, then. You go first. I'll give you a head start. Now, go ahead. Okay, so we need to get to the basically the Kukuri Forest as quickly as possible. So, we have a pony here, which, which should be helpful. I don't know if you can use teleport songs, but I don't- oh my goodness, please. Don't do this to me. I wouldn't imagine you would need- I don't think imagine it would be much better to just use the- the what's it called? Teleport songs to get to the bridge. Uh, Kukuri Forest. But anyway, let's see if we can get there quickly. Two minutes, 30 something seconds? I can't remember how, much, how fast he said he was. But we need to go really fast if we're gonna get there. Before he does. Ah, I'll go this way around. Okay, go, 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 Oh dear. I don't know if I should go over the fence or around it because I know you can get stuck on top of the fence with the pony, and I that drop that that'd be bad. So just go around. Okay, we're looking at a pretty good time right now. Still another minute and a half left, so we're almost to the forest, so. So nice having a Pona to get around faster. Oh my goodness, I'm stuck. I think it's actually probably just better to get down at this point, since the is going to struggle getting around that spot there. Okay, let's go in way faster than he was, and of course he's right there. Ha 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 ha! You you did it. You did quite well. But you couldn't beat me. Your time was a minute 26 seconds. But I was just... I, but I just beat you by one second. <sighs> You'll have to challenge me again sometime. <sighs> Goodbye then. So no matter what you do racing against him, he's just so fast that he just always wins. That's, that's, it, it, it doesn't give you any reward for doing it. It's just an interesting detail. But anyway... I guess all that practice with um, having the bunny hood helped him get a lot faster. Uh, but anyway, there's just another thing that I want to check out really quick before we head to, over to the Zora Fountain. 
And that is the blue rock that we saw as we were going over here. Because I'm pretty sure it has something there. It's not necessary, but it's something I want to check out again. So let's open this up. Oh, hello. There's just a regular po here. Also, no, there isn't anything there. Am I just crazy? I might just be crazy. I guess there isn't anything here. It's interesting though that it has that rock there. I thought there was something underneath it. Anyway. Well then, let's go to the Zora Fountain. There's also, on Zora River, this little ring of rocks here. And I'm pretty sure that if I do something correctly, probably the Song of Storms. Yep, there's a grotto here, which is... Some more Deku Salesman. Another thing that I should point out, because there's just so many of those, is that over here, I believe, like right here-ish, possibly a bit close to the edge, maybe? I don't know. But around here, if we play the Song of Storms, you can also do this as Child Link, there is a... a grotto here in Zora's Domain for a fairy fountain, if you need that. It's right before you go into Jabu Jabu, so it could be useful. It's also right before the ice cavern, so... So now that we're at the Zora Fountain, something interesting we can do is actually equipping uh, the hover boots in the water will actually make us hover a little bit, which is interesting. I think it's supposed to be because of you walking in water kind of thing. But anyway, right next to the fairy fountain here, is a blue rock, which is covering another regular rock, which is blocking a hole that we can go into. So if I can drop into this, that'll be great. If I can drop into this, that would be great. There we go. What's interesting about in what's in this hole, though, is that we need the lines of truth. Because in here are a bunch of invisible sculptors that I would drop down, that I would rather just avoid and go past. But anyway, there we go. Also gonna need the long shot and head up this way because all the way up here, which you have to have the silver gauntlets to do, so you have to have done half of the spirit temple to do this, is all the way up here. There is another sculptor help thing up here, but also, oh hang on, please don't tell me. Please don't tell me, no, please, no! Oh, I've made a ter terrible, terrible mistake. Because I think it needs to be night time. Oh no. I should have gone to the fairy fountain. And then, now yeah, it's fine. Okay, so up here at night, also the, you don't have to have the lens of truth because the, you can see where they are, the sculptors are, because of Navi's arrow highlighting where they are. But anyway, up here at night, is the gold, last gold sculptor, which you need the silver uh, gauntlets for, as I already said. But anyway, you destroyed a gold sculptor. You got a token proving you destroyed it. Remember the first time we got one of those in the, the Great Deku Tree? Feels like a, it's been a long time. But now, we have 100 and it's red numbers now, so there we go. Everything's looking f pretty filled in on our inventories. So there we go. Let's head over to the graveyard now. Just because the graveyard is probably the fastest way to Kakariko, since it's Kakariko Graveyard. But anyway, we get to get our reward for collecting 100 Sculptors, which is not necessary at all. It, especially at this point in the game, since we need to have completed half of the... Actually, no, we have to have completed every dungeon to get all the Sculptlers. So, this is a big stretch of a, re a reward, but I guess it means you can do whatever you want afterwards, so. 
But anyway, let's go into the house of Skultla. And the last person has been restored to normal. Since you've destroyed 100 spiders of the curse, the curse on me has been broken. Thank you. Here is a token of my appreciation. Please take it. And he gives us a huge rupee, which we could grind from Skulkid anyway. We'll be careful not to get cursed again. I mean, with it's, it's it's not that great of a reward, but at least we are the hero, and we've saved Hyrule and kind of helped a little bit. Also, you can talk to him as many times as you want, and he'll give you more gold rupees. So, if you want to do this to grind, get rupees for the horseback archery, I guess that's a also another option. But you probably have already done. Horseback archery before getting a hundred sculptors. Anyway, I think with that though, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.